are at Cambrian's booth at IEA 2016 in Hanover. Uh, we saw a slew of products from your end. Uh, what are your uh, you know, best uh, message that you would want to give to uh, the people coming out here? What do you want to try to communicate to the mm -hmm. audience that are coming to your booth? Mm -hmm. So we would like to show the customers or also the prospects that we are not doing only our commodity things. We are already known since many years in the market. We present a lot of new technologies, especially technologies with um, to save fuel efficiency, to use on hybridization and future cars, electrical cars and things like that. And how has been the reception so far from the customers that have come uh, to your booth? I think the reception is very well. So we have a lot of interest, or we gained a lot of interest in the last days here on our booth, especially with our new products. For example, the thermostatic valve, which we will have a look later, or also the water drain valve, which we also have a look later, and for sure also of another products, all of our proportional valves, because we think that switching was yesterday and the control function will be tomorrow. And how important is Indian market for Cambrian? The Indian market is very important for us because it's a fast-growing market. It's a very technology-driven market in the last year. So now we have the BS4 next year. We have the BS6 in 2020, 2021. And so it's a very fast-growing market for us and um, a lot of need for new technology. So it's an important market for Kendrion. And could you elaborate or spell out the technologies that you would look India will absorb faster? Mm -hmm. So today we mainly produce our engine cooling product. That means clutches with a high efficiency rate for the truck market. And in the future, we definitely see that there is a more a need for new technologies because you need different powertrains, you have different engines in the future. And so we, we really see that there is a big opportunity for our control functions. And with Make in India being an initiative in India, do you see your products being you know, localized more in India? And what yeah, is the state yeah. on it? If you can we have online? already today 100% localization of all of our products. And also in the future, the, the aim for sure is to localize all of the products because it makes no sense to import it. The market is very price sensitive. The market needs technologies, but at the same time also very good pricing. David, we, we got a glimpse by kind of a mention from Stephanie about mm -hmm. the thermal management system yes. and uh, a probable solution for BS6. Yeah. Could you take us through what exactly it does and how it works? Exactly. So um, what, are, what, what came to our mind is that we uh, should add some more uh, controllability to the thermal uh, circuit of the trucks, um, at least to the uh, thermostatic unit itself, where currently wax elements are responsible for regulating the engine temperature. And um, we basically had the idea of add some more controllability and in best case, uh, being completely independent of water temperature. So um, at an absolute maximum of uh, flexibility in temperature control for the uh, engine management unit. So um, what we try to visualize here is uh, the control circuit in the end. So um, a temperature sensor is measuring the current um, water temperature. He could also uh, gain additional information by uh, charge air or oil temperature. Um, then the ECU is calculating a an, um, an signal for the control valve. It's a, it's a pilot valve design that then um, uses the uh, water pressure difference from the current water pump of the engine. Um, so the pressure side from water pump or the, the water pressure from suction side from water pump uh, is given to a piston and um, thereby the piston moves by the water pressure opening or closing um, the bypass or the, the pathway for the coolant through the radiator. And thereby we are completely independent from actual water temperature uh, and just depending on engine RPMs and uh, water pump R RPMs. So the pressure difference, the actual pressure difference is um, yeah giving the pressure and thereby um, the uh, actual um, sp speed of movement, the possible speed of movement for the system. Uh, what, we, what we achieved on bench tests is um, 
switching times, um, half a minute for low idle speeds and um, below five seconds from full close to full open at higher engine RPMs. And um, the benefit of the system is pretty clear. Um, you can um, use it for predictive cruise control applications um, where the engine knows the topography that is coming and um, optimize um, the engine temperature for high load events or for idle events or whatever is coming up. So it's an enabling technology uh, for uh, truck manufacturers and engine, engine manufacturers to gain much more uh, fuel efficiency and thermal efficiency in their engines. Just another innovation of us is a um, water drain valve completely automated uh, with integrated security function um, for avoiding um, misuse or draining fuel to the environment. Um, so the system is used on um, pressure side of fuel pump after the um, fuel filter or in, attached to the uh, lower portion of the fuel filter uh, where the bo where bowl um, collects the water um, and um, when uh, so-called water and fuel sensor detects a large enough amount of water um, the valve is actuated by the ECU and drains off the water contents of the fuel um, to leave it um, to the environment in the end. How does this translate into fuel efficiency? Um, in this case, um, the, uh, the amount of water in the fuel um, leads to a rough engine running and um, possible damages to the injection system. So the high pressure injection systems um, needed for the, the higher... Um, the higher RPMs? Not the higher RPMs, but the higher um, uh, cleanliness of uh, exhaust gases. So. Um, the um, injection manufacturers uh, need to avoid a water content beyond a certain level um, to um, ensure the robustness of their system and to ensure these high pressures beyond 2,500 bars for uh, coming for coming legislations. And um, this um, automated system helps to um, to manage even high amounts of uh, water content and fuel because uh, the driver is not needed to uh, drain by hand because um, the ECU manages the system completely automatic and thereby uh, maximum level of, of safety for the whole truck is ensured.